Hello everyone, so today's video is very, very different from what I usually do on my channel. I have recently started, well I've actually been doing it now for probably about 6-7 months, almost a year. So I started doing this in August last year and I figured that I would make videos on it because, I don't know, I find it really helps me with my planning for the week and keeping track of the year and stuff like that because I am very forgetful at the moment because I've started new antidepressants and they actually make me very forgetful. What today's video is, is we're coming very close to April. We only have a few days left of March and it is time for me to do my new bullet journal spread. So this is my bullet journal. I just bought like a little art book and I like that you can see through this page because you can kind of see the title page that I did. So yeah, I've obviously been doing it from January this year. So this is like a brand new one for the year. So yeah, I have decided that I'm going to now film, especially because I have a good camera and a tripod, I can kind of angle you guys over me a little bit now. So I decided that I would film the process of me doing this. I don't know, I just thought it would be helpful because I find this really helpful for everything. So a bullet journal can be heaps of different things. It can be just like a little, it's like a proper journal. It can be like a diary, like a scheduled diary. It can also be like a little art book, a doodle book, a scrapbook, kind of anything you want it to be. I use this more of like a planner. I use it as a mood tracker and a habit tracker, the main things that I concentrate on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that today and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the outro. Okay guys, so this is the title page for my bullet journal. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making like a little bit of a quote page just because I was really struggling with a few things in the previous month. So I decided just to add this in. Um, the quote says, every moment is a fresh beginning. I can't remember who said it. I just looked it up online and found it. They did have the name of the person that said it, but I forgot it and didn't write it down because I'm an idiot. But yeah, so I'm just doing that there. The pen that I'm using is a Artline 220 Superfine 0.2 felt tip pen. And that one there that I'm using is a... They're all rubbed off guys, so I don't really, I can't really read them. It is the Art Studio Pigment Liner and I was using 0.1 and 0.5. And then I went back to the Artline one. This is the actual title title page. I was really inspired this month by dream catchers and things like that. And I was really inspired by like the bluey sort of tones, but I also did add in some pinks and stuff as well, just to kind of tie it all together because otherwise it did look too doom and gloom and I didn't want that for this month. As I said, I was really struggling last month, so I wanted to just add some more bright, fun colors in because I felt it was a little bit better and made it a little bit more happy. I'm using is this one that you can see here the more like gray blue is an Artline Supreme coloring pen so it's sort of like a felt tip pen but a little bit thicker and then the rest of them I'm using the Crayola super tips and I'm using a pink shade a purple shade a sort of like a sea green blue sort of shade and then like an actual sea blue shade as well I really like how all these colours came together. I use these pens all the time. In every single bullet journal spread you will see my Crayola Super Tips. They are my favourite. I find they don't go through the pages too much, whereas the Artline Supreme colouring pen, that one seems to bleed through the page a lot, especially if I go over it too much. So yeah, that's kind of the one disadvantage to that. But I'm just kind of adding a little bit of colour to these pages and those the colour of the feathers there, they are the featured colours for this month. So now we move on 
to the month at a glance page. Now I did also draw all this out previous otherwise it takes me too long. It does usually take me something like four hours to fill out my bullet journals just because I don't have grids or anything like I have to mark out everything the spacing and all that stuff because I don't have any grid dots or lines or anything like that so it does take me a while so I just pre-drew all of the pencil in and the pencil that I used was just a big pencil it's one I can't remember what you call these the ones where you put the lead in and then you click it like a normal pen um, I just used one of those so yeah this is my month at a, gl at a glance um, if you are wondering what the grid spacing is for the actual calendar I did three by three boxes with a one centimeter like header at the top for the days so and I also have my YouTube growth tracker so I'm just more or less tracking how many subs I have like subs views and videos I have at the start of the month and then at the end of the month I'll go in and see what ones I have after that I also put individual numbers in all of the boxes just because I find that helps me with what month and what day and blah 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 and then Obviously I have the illustrations at the top just to keep the theme in and you know add more colour and stuff and then I also added colours to each day of the week and then coloured in the numbers as well. I love the mood trackers and habit trackers. I think they are great. They really, really help me. As you guys know, I've started new antidepressants, so it makes it really hard for me to remember things and to remember how they're going. And this also helps me keep track of them. So keeping in theme with the whole feathers and dream catches and stuff like that, I just decided to draw a really big feather and just kind of do some doodles actually inside the feather and then color them in. And I also have a key on the side there where my hand is covering it up which says happy, sad, okay, anxious, depressed, angry. Um, I colour those in with different colours of the month that I was using and then I fill them in. There is 31 feathers on each side by the way. I fill in every feather, every like little bit of the feather with that and yeah that's how I track my mood and then the habit tracker is on the other side. So for my habit tracker, also guys, sorry, my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize. So you can kind of see what I've done, but I didn't do too much without you, I promise. So I like the long tracker like this habit tracker I don't like the individual ones I find them too hard for me to keep up with I much prefer this I find it easier to read at the end of the month and things like that you can kind of track anything you want to my six things that I do every month they never change is eating healthy water my antidepressants my motivation because my antidepressants can affect that also brushing my teeth twice a day and washing my face twice a day and then you can see I'm drawing a little key down here because I filled the individual boxes in differently and if you're wondering about that grid spacing I think it was 15 across and 6 centimeters down and then I divided them into like millimeters so it was, yeah it was a lot and this is how I fill in mine after I colour it in, I do actually fill it in and I coloured in the words so I remembered to do that and this is how I fill mine in. And another thing that I track is my sleep log and again my camera stopped recording on me. So the sleep log is very simple and that page is just a struggles and solutions page.
This page is now my video ideas and YouTube schedule. I try to schedule my videos for three times a week. Sometimes I have been lacking in that. I'm really struggling at the moment, but I will get there in the end. So the video ideas page is just blank so I can jot down what I want to film that month or that week or what ideas I have for next month even. And then my YouTube schedule, I have every day that I need to upload and the date so I can write down what I'm uploading that day. And then we move on to the final spread for this month, this month, which is my weekly spread. So this is sort of like your normal diary, but I obviously hand draw all this and I do it a bit differently and stuff like that. So obviously there's some doodles as well, just to keep it more fun and bright. And then I have these individual boxes with the dates in them. And I just find this one really simple. This one really appealed to me because it was simple. It was elegant. I had enough room to fill in the days with stuff that I needed. Previous ones, I haven't had enough room. I think this will be one that will stick with me for a while because I really, really do like this one. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. So that was my April 2019 bullet journal setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe and comment down below if you guys do do bullet journaling. I find it really, really helpful for me, especially with the depression and anxiety and these antidepressants that make me really forgetful. I forget everything at the moment. So like I said, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I wonder what went wrong today, eh? Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words to remember.